Hello and welcome to the first vlog of the old Walker place. Hopefully I'll make this a regular thing, but we did something interesting for the first time yesterday and I wanted to share it mainly to uh, get some input from people who know a lot more than I do about the subject. We got some bees. This is me here trying to crack open the first box of bees that we've brought to the farm. I uh, haven't done this before. I've watched a, a lot of other YouTube videos on the process and try to emulate those. First thing I try to emulate is spraying down the bees with some sugar water. And I might have soaked them a little too much spraying down, but I just wanted to be careful, didn't want them all swarming out on me right off the bat. For this first set, I am spraying down two of the frames with sugar water now. I didn't do them all. Some commenters that I've seen and some input that I've read said that you shouldn't do it at all because bees don't like wet feet. So I, uh, I'm testing out on this first hive to see if this has any input or any effect on their behavior as a whole on those particular frames. and. If it does, then I'll know for next time, and if it doesn't, then I'll just save the feed for something else. Now here I spend a unusual amount of time trying to get this queen out of the, or not even the queen out of the holder, but the, the plug out of that queen box. Everyone I've seen who've done this before, just put the hive tool in there, pop it out, and it just comes out. I did not have the same luck. I ended up popping the staple that holds the screen on the top and trying to fold it back to keep her in and wedging it between the two frames in the box. I don't think this is going to hold her very long. I think they're going to get her out pretty quick. And this may be the equivalent of releasing or doing a cold release or hot release or however the terminology goes. And she's just going to be walking around on day one. I didn't want to do this. There's no comb in these hives. There's only foundation, plastic foundation, and a bit of solid wax foundation. I am using the top feeder method for these hives. Um, this seemed to be the best so that I could feed the bees without interfering too much in their day-to-day. I can remove the top, pour the feet in, and replace it without getting in their way on the front or attracting too much attention through wasps or yellow jackets or ants or anything by placing it on the front of the hive. I don't have a real feeding spacer, so I'm using some medium hive boxes to to house the feeders. I'll remove them as soon as they're they're off the feed and getting their own nectar and honey. There's some things I did different with these boxes. You may notice that the box on the right is sitting a little higher than the box on the left as my daughter does some surrounding shots with her phone. The box on the right has a a split bottom board or a slotted bottom board or a slatted bottom board. I've read it several different ways. In this, I did this as an experiment to see if the behavior of the bees or the productivity of the bees is any different with one or the other. And already I have seen at least a behavioral dis difference between the two hives. The box on the left has a lot more activity outside the entrance on the landing board on average than the box on the right. I don't know if this is because of the slotted bottom board or if this is just because one hive is a little stronger or more active than the other. I'm very interested in any input, any input that anyone has on this topic. Like I said, I'm, I'm experimenting because 
everyone has their own opinions, at least on YouTube and on Reddit. And I'm too new to have any opinions, so I'm going to try them all to, as a, in an effort to form my own. Another difference is I'm mixing the frames or the foundations in the frames within each hive. In the hive on the left, I have a larger number of plastic wax coated foundation with a couple of wax frames, wax wi or wire wax frames inside to uh, to just help with the initial building of comb. And the hive on the right has a larger number of those wire wax frames, those solid wax frames from Man Lake that, uh, that have one or two of the plastic wax coated frames put in there to see one, if there's any drastic difference between the two hives. And then also if there's any difference in the the frame adoption or the frame usage within each of the hives. That's something I'm interested in learning and also interested in any feedback that anyone has. Overall, I don't think I messed this up too bad. There were several mistakes I made that I've noticed and I'm sure that to the trained eye or to anyone who's done this before, you've already noticed a few mistakes that I've made along the way. But this was my first time and I appreciate you giving it a look. I will up upload the raw footage of that for comment and input. But for now, thank you for listening.